Ohio Gozaimas and welcome to Tokyo Kaya. <laughs> we got a fellow YouTuber in the house and you have been traveling Southeast Asia, Africa for how many months now? In Middle East. I actually oh, started yes. in Middle East. Oman, yes. right? Yeah, Oman and that then that Africa, amazing. Tanzania and then Southeast Asia. So I've been traveling for four months. Okay, so her channel will be linked in the description. Definitely check it out. And what would you say as somebody who's coming to Tokyo for the first time, what's kind of been your first impression? Crazy, amazing, better than I expected. <laughs> Great. <laughs> In insane, like I, I'm speechless. She's yeah. Speechless. Well, you know, as somebody who's obsessed with Tokyo, I will say I kind of don't understand that unless you just hate cities, like I understand if you're just a nature person, you hate cities, okay, you're not gonna like Tokyo. But like, if you like cities, you can't not love Tokyo. You cannot hate yeah. Tokyo. You hate Tokyo, there's something wrong with her. Yeah, I think it's like one of the best yeah, cities yeah. in the world. So much to do. It has everything, you know? Yeah, exactly. So you're here for about a week and a half, and I'm gonna be showing you around a few different little yes. places here, uh, starting with Odaiba. So Odaiba is a bit of a unique day trip where it's this high-tech entertainment hub on an artificial island overlooking Tokyo Bay. So we are going to take you guys along. It's going to be a fabulous day, and if you come to Tokyo, you have to come here. Flip my keyboard <laughs> in the background. I love it. Yeah, you got this like yesterday at like a really cool vintage shop yeah, in the uh, best Harajuku. vintage shop I've ever been to in my life. But the difference between, let's say, Harajuku and here in Odaiba, there is next to no people here. Look at how empty the most kind of famous mall here in Odaiba is. This is called Dex. I mean, the view, the skyline from here and the right. bridge is beautiful. It kind of, but that's why I asked you about New York. I was like, why did I even start it? But the bridge and the, you know, what we see here, it kind of reminds me of New York. There's actually something here, funny you mentioned New York, that uh, is actually a very landmark thing oh, wait, of yeah, New I York. Do you know it. what it is already? <laughs> yeah, there is a statue of liberty here in Odaiba. Why did they decide that that was like a thing to do? So initially it was uh, a gift from France to I guess commemorate Japan's and France's uh, friendship. But then they took that original statue back because it was like on loan. No and friends anymore. <laughs> and then they built like a replica that's here full time. But it's kind of weird because all around Japan there's actually a few other random statues of liberties in other places. It's not just the one here in Odaiba. Kind of weird. So here we are in downtown Odaiba, I guess you could say. If it we looks very downtown. Yeah. If we flip around we see the famous Fuji building, which is like a TV network that they have here. And the globe itself is a visitor center. So if you wanted to get a cool view of Odaiba and be in the globe, you can go up there. I think it's like seven or eight dollars. But outside of the nice views of 
Tokyo Bay and like the amusement parks, the shopping malls that they have here. Odaiba is also really well known for amazing museums. For example, they have the Mirai Can Museum, which is like the robot museum. I don't know if we'll have time to go there today, but I would highly recommend uh, checking it out. And then second of all, uh, just a ways up in Toyosu is Team Labs Planets, a super cool, yeah, super cool art museum that we were planning on going to today, but looking at the website last night, all the tickets were sold out into next week. Which is crazy, because I feel like everyone who goes to Tokyo goes there. Because I see yeah. it on Instagram all the time. It's definitely worth going to, and like I am going to try and go there like while I'm still in Tokyo. So I'll like input the footage, but I feel sorry for Kaya that in the time that she's here, like it's all sold out. And it's so hard to believe because I wouldn't think that outside of cherry blossom season, Tokyo would be that busy, but it is. So friends, I did end up going to Team Lab Planets before I left Tokyo and let me tell you, it was, it was worth it. It was an incredible experience. For those of you who have never heard of them before, Team Labs is Japan's most high profile collective of digital artists. They make these incredible immersive art exhibits, usually utilizing technology. It has now become an international collective though, so you do sometimes see uh, Team Labs exhibits in other countries, but it is said that Tokyo always has the best ones. It was definitely an incredible experience and I would recommend going, but I will also say that the crowds were ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I had to book my ticket well in advance to be able to get in at this time. So hopefully in two to three months, the crowds in Tokyo will start to die down. I think ever since they got rid of the pandemic rules, tourism in Japan has just been absolutely insane. So hopefully if you guys go in the fall to winter time, it'll be a lot less busy. The thing about Japan is that obviously anime and these types of characters are very popular here. And even though I've been to Japan so many times, I know next to nothing about them. Kaya, do you like no watch one's... anime or like no, manga I, I or but anything? When I was a kid, I used to watch, I think it was called Dragon Ball. Dragon, oh, Dragon Ball Z? Dra yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to love it. I but liked I was, like, Pokemon. A really small kid. Oh, Pokemon yeah, yeah, Pokemon, you know, was huge. Yeah. Okay, I think I see what, I think I see, but I'm not sure Kaya doesn't yet know what I have planned. But if I'm not mistaken, there is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes! I was shopping the other day in Shibuya and I saw a place like that and all the foreigners were doing it, but I was alone yes. I didn't have a friend. It's so much fun, so. yeah, if you have like a friend. And so I haven't done these like in a long time, but they're basically like photo booths that like change your features to be more kawaii in different ways. So maybe we'll have to like, oh my god, look at this one. <laughs> so do you think they think this is like money or cute? It's cute. But don't you, like, okay, like that one, I get it. Yeah, yeah. But this is, like, ridiculous. Well, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, cartoony cute, but it's, like, to be fair, like, of course, this is over-exaggerated, yeah. but with, like, the makeup trends that they have here in Japan, like, with the contact lenses and with the way they do their eyes, they're actually trying to almost sometimes look like a cartoon character. Certain, like, kawaii trends. Yeah. Okay, so we got 500 yen. This is, like, 4 US dollars. So I don't know how this works, so I'm gonna hope I can like figure it out on the road. Okay, please choose your favorite furry mode. Okay, that one, I don't know, doesn't look as cute. I think we should go with this one. Yeah. Two layers. <laughs> <laughs> 
which one? Yeah. This is so complicated. I like, have no idea what's happening. I mean, I, yeah, I think this permission is permission to song. dance. What that one? <laughs> left boot. Okay, left, left boot. Left Okay. Eight. Oh, what's happening? I don't know. Oh, this thing. Oh, we gotta do this pose. Oh, no. oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That was just so... Oh, they're showing... They're showing the... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> now I realize that they're... <laughs> oh, you're supposed to hold your pinky up. Okay, oh my gosh, here are our pictures. I'm so excited, but I have no idea what we have to do now, and I think we have to figure it out in less time. Why do I, I don't look know. like I have such a huge brain? You don't look like that. Look, look at, I know I have a toll forehead, oh but God. come on. Okay, this was so much more complicated than expected. Like, I have no idea what to do with their mobile site, but I think we made a print, so let's go look. <laughs> Look at the fabulous view that we have here. We are in the Odaiba location of Gampachi. If that name doesn't mean anything to you, it is the restaurant, the Nishi Azabu location was featured in the Kill Bill movie, like the big famous restaurant scene that was shot there. But of course, this is a different location, uh, though the food is the same. So Kaya and I are going to grab lunch here. It's in Aqua City. So if you're looking for a great place to eat, I would highly recommend this place. So we just received our food and it looks so good. I'm so impressed. Look at this beautiful tempura. I got a mix of shrimp and veggies. Oh, and there is some rice under my tempura. Yes. You get a salad, you get miso soup, you get unlimited oolong tea. And I've told you guys about my love for soba. So they give you some soba. And all of this all together is only 12 US dollars. That is a phenomenal deal. Yeah, exactly. With this phenomenal view of Tokyo Bay. Some good tunes in the back. <laughs> So we just got to Shimbashi and we are going to catch the Asakusa line to the tallest freestanding tower in the world, which is called the Sky Tree. Kaya, are you so excited? I'm so excited. Perfect. because we're here at like five o'clock so I think the sunset is like at 6 10 so we'll kind of get to the see light the sunset I love Tokyo sky tree so much it's a little bit foggy today which is a shame if you catch it on a day uh, when it's clear and you can like see for miles and miles it just gives you an idea of how vast and enormous <laughs> this city really is but at least we got like a really bright and sunny day so it's still really nice
Tohokyo Kyo song as your outro? Sure. I don't know any words, so I just thought Toho Kyo. What a day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we had such a great day. Almost a 12 hour long day. And this is how we get to end it. How amazing. Kaya, thank you so much for being my co-host for the day. Thank you for being my guide. You're welcome. And basically <laughs> leading the way for Takya. But like I said, guys, definitely follow Kaya. I'm going to have her linked in the description of the video. It's so sad to leave this amazing city, but I think both of us will definitely be back sometime. 100%. Yeah. Like, this is a place where I can just come back to again and again. 100%. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. And as always, I'm sending you so much love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Soyonara. Bye. 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 <laughs>